Raphael Horn, popularly known as Atio Christ, has developed a reputation for converting very real inspiration into imaginatively surreal depictions. I am telling stories with vibrant colors and meticulously placed symbolism. Symbolism that Atio grew up learning to express through art. Yes, my mom is an artist. My dad, his craft work, he's meticulous about his craft as well. Uh, my grandfather was an artist as well, he did some arts. I was introduced to digital media, to the holy grail of digital media, Photoshop, by my closest friend, Anchaji, uh, brother from another mother. But even though all of that lined up, at the end of the day, I still had to do the work. I still had to practice, I still had to learn and adapt. I still have to incorporate what I know when thrown into a corporate situation and not allow the corporateness to, to just uh, wash over what, what my vision, my overall vision is. Inspiration is drawn from nature, comic books, movies, music, but most importantly, what's going on in my own life. Especially the dramatic pieces, or the dramatic parts. But if there's not the dramatic going on, then I make something dramatic happen. Art is the expression of creative skill and imagination. However, it cannot exist without inspiration. In the early stages, I would find myself placed in situations where I had no choice but to adapt to the status quo or whatever is going on around me. And I believe that's what helped to give me the resilience that I have today. I want, I want people to dream more. We need more dreamers. Not only dreamers, but people who are willing to act on that dream and at least express it in a visual manner. And that way, who knows, maybe it's going to influence the next set of architecture in the country. Historically impactful artists are the ones who dare to genuinely express themselves regardless of perceived constraints. Atio often credits his corporate experience for his evolution to this point. It connects with a lot of people, regular people day to day. First, what I notice is it connects more to the childlike part of the individual. It still gives, it inspires or gives the individual a chance to, or permission or inspiration to still dream, still imagine, you know, still accept that part of who they were when they were a child. And I believe that's what people are drawn to. Human beings can never have too much inspiration. And so, the emotional impact of Atio's work is almost unavoidable. The surrealist art is crafted to revive dead imaginations or further empower active ones. So this, this is my style. I'm really just, I'm taking what, I'm taking everything here and making it magical, right? All this is just magical stuff I'm doing right now. So this, this is it really, this, this, just to sum it up. I'm, I'm taking what is here already, I'm making it magical. It's already magical, but we can make it more magical. We can do more stuff with it. If you tell him you don't believe in magic, Atiyo would take a picture of you at that moment with the hope of placing you in a world where anything is possible.